the women's ministry have done so much in LFC this year. Here is Pastor Abimbola Adioye. Compliments of the season. I bring you greetings this day. I want to appreciate the Lord for your lives and I want to thank God for what God has done for you, for me, for us, for all Living Faith Connections members in this great year as it's rounding of 2014. So what a way to end the year other than just to give thanks unto God. So I just want to give thanks unto God on behalf of the women of Living Faith Connections. God has been so faithful to us. We want to thank God the way the year opened up unto us. We had a wonderful time during the modern week. It was awesome. We learned so much. We learned how to cook. We learned how to do new things. The Lord Almighty visited us. You know, it was a great time in the presence of God. And we learned so much about purpose. We had a red carpet roll out for us. The men were there serving us and looking out for us and looking after us. I felt really good being a woman. And I really want to thank God. And that rolled us into May when we had our summer retreat. Wow, what a time together with the women. I know as I'm speaking, as many women that attended the Women at the World Retreat, summer retreat will remember that we had a wonderful time we learned so much we had two powerful women of God that came to speak to us and it was an excellent time in the presence of God I can never forget the sessions that we had and how can we forget our pastors our own day pastors session during the summer retreat it was awesome it took us to another level it was a challenging time for me challenge me to you know run the purpose of life face what God has called me to do, to be focused in the things of God. And I know the same as a testimony of every woman that actually attended. That ended so well as well, which, which actually pushed us into Women of Purpose 2014. Awesome, awesome, awesome time of different powerful women of God. And we've been blessed tremendously. What can I say about the breakfast? I could not believe how many people are already on ground. There was nowhere to park your car. And it was also another awesome time in the presence of God. We had a winter retreat. At this retreat, this time around, it was a different ballgame for me. I was... As I was preparing, going into the retreat, I was also looking forward to God visiting me. I was waiting on the Lord. I was expecting there were several things going on in my life. I really want God to touch me. So I was crying unto God, that, Lord, don't just use me. I want you to use me. But don't just use me, also touch me. And guess what? You know, this was when God gave us the word. Joshua chapter 3 verse 5, wonders ahead. It was indeed wonders ahead. I am yet to recover from the blessings, from the testimonies. And I'm sure that's the same with every woman that attended. We don't pray for ourselves alone. We pray for everyone. We pray for the nations. We pray for our families. We pray for the church of God. We pray for many people. And we know that we can never remain the same. And now, you know, we've had a wonderful time, you know, gathering together as women. Had gathering at the Women of the World Retreat is my baby. I had clearly great things that God is going to do and I'm expectant as we roll into 2015 the Lord spoke so much about what is going to be happening already we're already planning about 2015 the venue is almost done sorted dotted and you know stamped I believe so I'm challenging you and I'm calling making a call even early enough that please begin to enroll we're changing a lot of things. We're bringing new things. God helping us. 2015 is going to be different. It's setting out a new terrain for this great ministry. The woman at the well retreat. So everyone, watch out for what God has in stock for us. Watch out for the website. Watch out for the news. Watch out for the e -blast. Watch out for announcement in church, outside church, all over. It is a ministry that has been called to women is not just women in LFC but women generally women that love the Lord women that want to fellowship with others women that has a heart for God looking forward to fellowship with you again in the year 2015 as the Lord our God you know leave it and as the Lord keep us because I know you will see the end of 2015 as you see the beginning of it in the name of Jesus and also watch out for women of purpose conference 2015 as we enter gloriously into the year 2015 keep being you Keep focused, love the Lord, be steadfast, be immovable, let Jesus be your rock and continue to prosper as the Lord our God lay the wonders ahead of you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. My name is Abimbolo Luashe Adiyoye. See you in 2015. Bye.